Hey guys, before this imperialism video starts, I just want to let you guys know this took a lot of time and effort. So I really do appreciate every single like and subscription that comes from this. It means a lot to me. I put a lot of work into this, so I hope you guys really do enjoy. And uh, yeah, this this one gets interesting. I just want to say that. Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a Madden NFL 17 imperialism. I did 15. I was going to do 16 actually, but for some reason 16 wouldn't work on my uh, PlayStation. Like it wasn't going to load. And it kept like failing to read the disc, even though my disc was clean. I don't know why. So instead, we are going to be doing Madden NFL 17 Imperialism. So this is my second Imperialism video I did. If you guys want to go watch the first one, I'm not going to spoil it now. The first one was 15. Go check that one out for sure. It's a definitely a good one. It took me forever to make that, about like almost 24 hours of making it. This hopefully will be a lot quicker because I've already done it. So I'll know what I'm doing now. But let's get right into this. You guys know how imperialism works. I do a wheel for a random NFL team. I spin, use a direction, or arrow to figure out which direction they're going to go in. And whatever it lands on is where they're going to head. So here's the map of 2017 where the Chargers are in San Diego and the Raiders are in Oakland. So let's get this going. First thing we have to do is spin and land on a team. The first NFL team we are going to land on in the imperialism video is going to be the New York Jets. Okay, which direction are they going to go? The Jets are going to go south, so straight south, the Jets from right here about center, straight south. That doesn't really hit anything. I'm, I think Delaware, maybe. I'm going to go ahead and give them Delaware. I think Delaware is the closest to south from them. The Jets go ahead and take Delaware. Let's go and spin for the second time in my imperialism video. It is going to land on the Jets again. No, the Miami Dolphins. Okay, so the Dolphins don't really have much places to go except for north, and that is exactly what they're going to go. They're going to go north and a little to the west. It doesn't matter. That's the Buccaneers. So our first game is going to be the Dolphins going ahead and taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I will see you guys when we're back from that one. Hey, before we go to the game, I just want you guys to know that 86% of you are not subscribed. So if you guys do enjoy, make sure that you guys hit the subscribe button. Also hit the like button. So the Miami Dolphins are able to come into Tampa Bay and knock off Jameis Winston and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. 21-14 to is the final score as the Miami Dolphins are going to be taking half of Florida. So they should own about two-thirds of it. They're also going to be taking Doug Martin. Doug Martin is now officially on the Miami Dolphins. He's a 90 overall running back. I couldn't say no to him because Jay Ajayi was the best running back for the Dolphins. So they kind of needed help. And I just thought it was an easy pick, to be honest. So I went with it. All right, so the Miami Dolphins were able to take out the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So I have to go ahead and change the land. And I went ahead and did that, so that's fine. But the next wheel is going to land on the Minnesota Vikings. We have to see which direction they're going to go by spinning the arrow. Like I said earlier, this is how we do it. And the arrow is going to be heading south and a little to the east, which might hit Green Bay. I don't know if it does because it doesn't really go southeast enough. It's kind of more south. And yeah, it looks like it's it, it looks like it's not going to hit it. So I'm going to go ahead and give the state of Iowa to Minnesota as I don't think that Green Bay hit uh, was hit. It was really close, but we're going to spin the wheel again. In our second wheel spin, this is going to land on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and I can't do that because they were already eliminated, so I have to make sure to remove them. That is my fault. Sorry about that. And wheel number three in just a few turns. Uh, the Cleveland Browns are up. Which direction are the Browns going to be going? Let's spin the wheel. The arrow is pointing north and a little to the east. That's going to hit Lake Erie, actually, so... Um, we're going to have to spin it again. See, this is what can be difficult about doing this, guys. Uh, this time it's going to land on the Oakland Raiders, though. And the Raiders should pretty much be forced to do something, at least. Let's spin the arrow and see which way they're going to be heading. They're going to be going straight south, which is the Rams, I think. They were in L.A., so yes, it is. They're going to be taking on the Los Angeles Rams. All right, guys, it is a seven-point game here in Los Angeles. They, Jared Goff is going to uh, spike the ball there. Jared Goff spikes it. Jared Goff is the quarterback for the Rams. This is a rookie year, I believe. Seven-point game, though. He has about 50 yards to drive to tie this game. 23 seconds. Goff is looking. Where is he going to go? He's going to go left side. He's going to be throwing that ball away. Incomplete. It is now third and 10. Let's see what he can do here. Third and 10. 20 seconds left in the game. Jared Goff. In the backfield, he's looking. He's, he's got all the time in the world. Jeez, 
He, and he's going to be sacked. He had all the time in the world. He didn't make anything happen. They're going to go hurry up here. I don't know if it's going to do anything. They, he, they might not even get the playoff here. Where are his receivers at? How slow are they? That's going to end the game. The final score is 30-23. The Oakland Raiders are going to beat the Rams. And that's very surprising to me. I did not think. I mean, both teams were kind of bad that year. But, hey, Raiders are able to get a small victory. That can help out a whole lot because... I definitely already know who I'm going to be grabbing for this Raiders defense. And it's pretty obvious if you ask me. So final score, 30-23. That is the end of the game. The Rams are officially eliminated. And the Raiders are going to continue on. But obviously, like I just said, easy pick. 98 overall, Aaron Donald, defensive tackle. Hope out that Raiders defense. Such an easy pick. Him and Cleo Mack are going to be beasts. They're going to be so dominant. I, I seriously don't know a better defensive line in the league around that time. There's no way there's any team better on the defensive line at all. All right, so the Oakland Raiders were able to take out the Los Angeles Rams. Uh, Jared Goff, the goofball, is uh, not going to be in this video for very long. And there he goes. <laughs> sad. It's so sad. <laughs> but um, there goes the Rams as I just have to remove their uh, image because... Uh, Paint 3D is not the best website to use for this, but I did. It's going to land on the Green Bay Packers. This is going to be going south and a little to the east, but I th it's a little more south, so I think it might be actually hitting the edge of Chicago. That it is. All right, seven-point game here in Chicago as the Packers are taking on the Bears. Honestly, this is really surprising. I thought the Packers would just destroy the Bears, if I'm being honest. There's about seven seconds left in the game. Aaron Rodgers needs a miracle. Devon, he's got Devontae Adams. He's got Randall Cobb. Both were really good back then. I think Eddie Lacy might still be on the team, actually. And then uh, Jordy Nelson. Was Jordy Nelson with this team? I don't know. But Aaron Rodgers did win the championship in the last Imperialism video. He's going deep here. It's going to be incomplete. But there are still two seconds left. So he, he still has one more Hail Mary in him. Can he get it? No, he can't. He's going to be taken down as he's getting ready to throw it. Aaron Rodgers, the former player that won the Imperialism Championship with the Chiefs, has been officially eliminated. But I don't think Aaron Rodgers has been eliminated, if I'm being honest, because he might be the best player to move on to that Bears team. And the Bears need to make a choice, and uh, Aaron Rodgers is a 96 overall in this game. So at the end of the day, even though it may not, they already have Jay Cutler, I get that, but... At the end of the day, Aaron Rodgers is just the best overall player. He had to go to the Bears team. I'm sorry. If you Bears fans don't like that, I do apologize, man. It, it, it is what it is. But he's just he's a 96 overall quarterback. I can't say no to that. So that's why I went with Aaron Rodgers to the Chicago Bears. So the Chicago Bears, surprisingly, defeated the Green Bay Packers. So now the Bears have a very long, uh, almost strip of land there separating Minnesota, Kansas City from like Indianapolis, Detroit, uh, and those teams. So the Bears gain a very solid amount of territory, honestly. Milwaukee's a very solid uh, state to gain there as we have to spin the wheel next. I have to also make sure I remove Green Bay, but the wheel is going to land on the Oakland Raiders again. Which area are the Raiders going to go in south and a little to the west? That is actually going to hit the 49ers. So we're going to see Raiders versus the 49ers. So Colin Kaepernick and the San Francisco 49ers were eliminated by the Raiders. The Raiders are now 2-0 as they get another, they could get another solid player here. This 49ers team I thought was really good back then, but after looking at their roster, uh, I was wrong. They, they just weren't as good as I thought they were, if I'm being honest. So I went ahead and for the Raiders, I gave them... The 49ers best player, Jill Staley, he's an 89 overall left tackle. Couldn't say no to it, so that's why I went ahead and gave him uh, away to the Oakland Raiders. So the Raiders were able to take out the 49ers, as you guys just saw. All right, there we go. The Raiders land is now updated. We're spinning the wheel again. It is going to land on the Baltimore Ravens. Now the Ravens don't have a whole lot of places to go. They're going to go north, which from where they are, I think, actually hits the commanders. So we're going to see the the Ravens take on the Washington Commanders. So the Commanders did end up losing to the Ravens. They also played each other in my Madden 15 Imperialism video, but 
the results are a little different. The Commanders won in that video. But I went ahead and gave Josh Norman away to the Baltimore Ravens. Help out that cornerback room where 80 overall Jimmy Smith was the best cornerback. So I had to give him 94 overall Josh Norman. Prime Josh Norman. He was a beast. So he's headed to Baltimore. All right. So the Ravens were able to take out the Commanders in that very, very good game, honestly. Now they own pretty much all of Maryland. Instead of having to share it with the Commanders, the Ravens now own it all. So if we go ahead and remove that, let's spin the wheel now. Here, I didn't remove the commanders, but that's fine. Indianapolis Colts is who is going to land on. Let me remove the commanders real quick. The Colts are going to be going northeast, and that is actually going to hit Baltimore, or the Bengals, excuse me. All right, once again, just like Madden 15 imperialism, the Bengals are able to take out the Indianapolis Colts. Andrew Luck obviously doesn't have luck because he is going to lose here to Andy Dalton. This, ball, this Bengals team was just solid back then. They, I don't think they were anything too special, but... Uh, actually, same thing as Madden 15, Vontae Davis, he's headed to the Bengals, and he's going to be able to help out this defense from Indianapolis to Cincinnati. The Indianapolis Colts, they uh, they made a poor choice in attacking the Bengals, as that's just going to end their fate. And not surprisingly, if I'm being honest, the Colts actually have had very little success in my Imperialism videos. Let's just say that. Let's head over to the wheel, spin the wheel again. It is going to be the New York Jets. Now the Jets are going to be going to the north and a little to the west, which is going to hit the Philadelphia Eagles. So we're going to see a Jets versus Eagles matchup. So the Eagles do take on the Jets, but the Eagles actually are going to lose this one. Very surprisingly, I thought the Eagles would win this. Even back then, I mean, I know the Eagles are really good now. They went to the Super Bowl, whatever. But even back then, I, I'm pretty sure the Eagles were better. I mean, this was around the time they won the Super Bowl, right? Uh, but Fletcher Cox, he's just he's he was a really good player, 93 overall defensive tackle. He's gonna be headed to New York. Hopefully, go on a run for the Jets team. They haven't really had much success, so maybe they will here in this episode. The Eagles getting a little bit darker with the green, saying goodbye to their logo. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, we're spinning the wheel now. Buffalo Bills are the winners of this wheel. Now we just have to see which direction they're going to be going in. Let me make sure I remove all the teams. The Bills are going to be going south, which is going to be the New York Giants. Actually, the Bills are taking on the Giants. Seven-point game here with a minute left in the game as the Giants are up by seven. Uh, I just said that, but Buffalo is down by seven here. So Tyrod Taylor, he's going to be scrolling out to the left, right. Uh, he's going to go deep. It's going to be intercepted. Collins gets the interception for the New York Giants. It was only a seven-point game. It was fourth and ten, though, so he did have to go deep there. He had to uh, at least try to get the first down. But two timeouts, I don't think the Bills really have a chance here. Yeah, that, that that's going to be the game. The Buffalo Bills lose this one. It's surprising? I, I don't know. The Bills just weren't that good back then, if we're being honest. They had, they had a rough patch around that time. So the Giants were actually not bad. Eli Manning, you know, he, he was good. They had Odell. Bills players, though, I don't know who I'm going to give up. I'm going to go best player. It's going to be Cordy Glenn. I, I've never even heard of this guy, if I'm being 100% honest with you guys. But he's an 89 overall left tackle. I can't say no to that. Help out this Giants offensive line. All right, so you knew the entire state of New York would be changing to the color blue. But it's not the Buffalo Bill, Bills blue. Sorry, Bills fans. But... It's a lot of bees. I just said a lot of bees in a row, and it sounded very funny. Uh, the Giants are going to be taking this land. Giants are now uh, the owners of New York, the entire state of New York, because I gave uh, the Jets New Jersey. So they never really had a shot to grab New York or start with it at least. But the wheel is going to be choosing the Giants again. And they're going to be going south and going for the... Oh, so they could get the New York the Jets versus Giants. The battle for New York is coming down to a seven-point game as Geno Smith is 15 or 13 yards, to be exact, away from the end zone. As he hits Smith over the middle, he is four yards short. They're going to go hurry up. Are they going to have enough time? I don't think they are. They're not going to be able to get the snap off. There's no time. Geno doesn't get it. The Giants are going to win. Geno Smith doesn't have enough time to get the last snap off. What are, what are they doing? I, this game is... That's a lot of, of snaps that they weren't able to get off. I mean, I guess there's not enough time in this game. Uh, they're they're kind of slow, I guess. But the New York Jets are going to be eliminated as the Giants are going to move on. And the Giants are going to go ahead and grab a Jets player. And that Jets player is going to be Fletcher Cox. He came from the Eagles, went to the Jets, and now he's back to the Giants. Back to the a NFC East. 
and uh, 93 overall defense tackle. Once again, I can't say no to that. How am I supposed to say no to that when he's like the best player uh, on the team? So went ahead and got him. All right, so the New York Giants are able to keep the entire state of New York. They are also able to take the entire state of New Jersey and half of Pittsburgh, or Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, excuse me. But there go the Jets. They are officially eliminated from the second imperialism video. And now we have to spin the wheel once again, and this time it's going to land on the Jacksonville Jaguars. The Jaguars are going to be going north, and they are going to take on the Atlanta Falcons. The Jaguars had a huge lead, but it looks like the Atlanta Falcons are going to come back from that lead. Tied 31, going deep. He hits Julio in stride. He hits Julio in stride. They're in within 10 yards. What a play. What a play by Matt Ryan. He threw an absolute dime. Was that that was Julio? Yeah, that was what a dime. Okay, so Matt Ryan is able to come up clutch here. Game winning field goal now for the Atlanta Falcons. Are they gonna be able to come back? That's such a weird thing to say, because usually it's the Falcons that are blown leads and Matt Ryan blown leads. But no, not today. The Atlanta Falcons are coming back to win a football game and beat the Jacksonville Jaguars, who were very poverty at the time. Actually, they weren't bad in with Saxonville, but that wasn't that wasn't this year. So uh, it might have been this year actually, but the, I don't know. But the, the, their overalls are bad. The, this team's overall is bad. The Jaguars just they're not nearly as good as a team as the Falcons. But I went ahead and gave them Allen Robinson. Him and Julio should be dominant. Really help out Matt Ryan. And actually, this team's looking very solid with uh, Allen Robinson there with receiver. Uh, Mohamed Sanu was their second best, so I had to give him another good receiver. Him and Julio should be able to dominate. All right, so the Atlanta Falcons are able to take a little bit of land from the state of Florida as they knock out the Jacksonville Jaguars. The Jaguars really, um, they're, they're, they just, I don't, I don't know. They're, I don't know what to say about them. They didn't really have a shot, if we're being honest. And next wheel spin is up now, and we are going to land on the San Diego Chargers who are going to be going south and that is a little to the east so they're actually going to be playing the Cardinals. The San Diego Chargers are going to be able to come in and uh, defeat the Arizona Cardinals here in Phoenix. They are going to double their points. Phillip Rivers, you guys know he's a beast. Uh, I don't know how long he's going to be able to last in here because you guys know he's not very, uh, when it comes to big games, playoff games, he doesn't really do much but hey. No, no disrespect to Phillip Rivers. He's a GOAT Hall of Famer. But I went ahead and gave Tyron Matthew to the Chargers. He was a 96 overall. I didn't know he was that high of an overall back in Madden 17, but he is. So can't say no to a 96 overall free safety. That'll really be able to help out the San Diego Chargers defense. So with that being said, the Cardinals are officially eliminated. The Phillip Rivers and the Chargers are able to knock them out. Uh, kind of surprised me a little bit. Not really. I mean, both teams were solid at the time. So it is what it is. The Chargers are able to take out the Arizona Cardinals as we are going to spin the wheel once again. And we're going to see who is going to land on. It's going to land on the Atlanta Falcons. We're going to go south, and they're going to take on the Miami Dolphins. Falcons versus Dolphins. This should be a good one, guys. Hey, guys, this is a huge shock to me, but the Miami Dolphins are able to knock off the Atlanta Falcons. I did not expect this at all. I thought for sure the Miami Dolphins would lose this because the Dolphins were pretty average back then. And the, the Falcons were good, so I, I don't know what it was, but the Dolphins were able to, maybe it was home field advantage, but Dolphins are able to knock off the Atlanta Falcons and by 10 too, so it was a pretty solid win. Julio Jones is now a Miami Dolphin, guys. I know you guys like the sound of that if you're a Dolphins fan or if you're just a, a, a fan that or someone that doesn't like the Falcons at all. But Julio Jones to Miami should be a good, good solid team there. All right, the state of Atlanta and the state of Florida now belong to the Miami Dolphins. The Dolphins are able to take the entire state of Florida finally. I know they've always wanted the state of Florida, but now they finally get it. Let's see. I have to make sure I crop this because it does that stupid thing. But anyways, let's continue the video and uh, spin the wheel. So I have to make sure the Falcons are going off of the wheel. This is going to land on the Cleveland Browns who are going to be going north, and that is going to be Lake Erie again. So the Browns will not be playing. But it's going to land on the Bengals this time. And the Bengals are going to be going south and to the west. That is going to hit the Chicago Bears. So we're going to see a C versus C. And the Bengals are taking on the Chicago Bears. Aaron Rodgers is now 0 for 2 in this episode of NFL Imperialism. He is going to lose 
He loses 27-17 to the Bengals as this Bengals team is quickly building a very solid team. Uh, they have Andy Dalton at quarterback, but once again, how am I going to say no to a 96 overall quarterback, guys? How do I say no to that? How do I tell my viewers here that I'm going to have a 96 overall quarterback not continue to play when he's a, literally a 96 overall quarterback? I can't say no to that. So the Cincinnati Bengals are going to go ahead and grab Aaron Rodgers. He's 0 for 2 in this video. Maybe maybe he'll get good luck here being with Cincinnati and he'll start to win some games. And uh, He's got a lot of help. He's got A.J. Green at wide receiver, but he's got to win some more games, get some more players on that team if he really wants to win another championship like he did with the Chiefs in the last video. The map isn't really changing a whole lot because the colors are the same and the Bears and Bengals have the same color, orange. So the both territories are staying orange, but it's the Bengals who take the territory. Now let's spin the wheel here and figure out which team is playing next. It's going to be the Houston Texans who are going to go to the east, but a little too south. That's going to hit the Gulf of Mexico. I'm sorry. Sorry, Texans, but that is not a territory that you can try and claim. That is the ocean, and you cannot have the ocean. I'm sorry. But it's going to land on the Texans again, so I guess they really want territories. Let's see where they're going to be going now. They're going to be going north. That's definitely a place. That is the Dallas Cowboys. So for the Battle of Texas, Texans versus the Cowboys. So the battle for Texas isn't really coming to a shock to me. Probably shouldn't really be shocking to you guys. But the Cowboys win 31-14. to They've won pretty dominantly. Uh, J.J. Watts on this Texans team. So uh, he won't be on the Texans team anymore because it's very obvious when you have a 99 overall defensive or end. Yeah, right end. Uh, you're, you're not going to say no to that. So J.J. Watt, 99 overall, he is going to be on the Dallas Cowboys. This happened in the last Imperialism video too, but it's not really surprising. He's he's a 99 overall. He's got to stay on a team. So the Dallas Cowboys are able to take the state of Texas, as you guys saw. I don't know the I don't know why the Texans were so hungry to to fight a battle that they weren't going to win. They didn't win it. Why were you guys wanting a battle so bad? You guys first tried to take the Gulf of Mexico, which you can't do, and then you lose to the Cowboys. Uh, the Bengals are going south and to the east. That's probably going to hit Kentucky before it hits anywhere else, so I'm going to give them Kentucky. Let's spin the wheel again. It's going to land on the Seattle Seahawks. They go straight east, which is Idaho. That's not a team. There's no such thing as an Idaho team unless they made the I Idaho Potatoes a team, and I don't think they did. So the Ravens are going to go south. They're going to take the state of Virginia and that's spin the wheel again. It lands on the Ravens again, actually. They're going to go east, and that's going to be West Virginia. So I guess they just went in all the Virginia territories. But let's spin this wheel again. And this time it's going to land on the Giants, who are going to go south. And that should be a team that is going to hit. Is that going to? I think that hits the Ravens. So we're going to see the Giants take on the Baltimore Ravens in Baltimore, though. So this should be a good one. The New York Giants did a little run. Uh, is finally coming to an end. They were able to knock off the other New York team and uh, actually both other New York teams because Buffalo is in New York. But the Baltimore Ravens are too good for them to handle. The Ravens were eliminated, very first team eliminated, by the way, in my last video. But today they are making some moves. They're going to win two games here. Uh, they are also going to be able to grab one of the Ravens play or Giants players, excuse me, and that player is going to be Odell Beckham Jr., Joe Flacco. Needs some good receivers to throw to, and he definitely has one here. A young Odell Beckham Jr., very good pickup for the Ravens. All right, so Eli Manning and the New York Giants were not good enough for the Ravens as the Ravens take more territories. Let's remove them from the wheel, and let's get another spin going. This spin is going to land on the Cincinnati Bengals, who have been very, very um, chosen, I should say. South into the east, that is going to hit the Ravens. We're going to see a good old divisional rival matchup all right so i was just talking about the ravens run uh when they won last game but it is coming to an end as the Bengals run is very much more impressive it, they're just they're starting to build an empire now they have a lot of land a lot of territory and they are going to be able to take out the baltimore ravens by only three though it was a close good game oh but at the end of the day you got aaron Rodgers on your team you know you're going to do something with it so the Bengals are going to be able to get a choice of who they want from the Ravens team. And I 
had to make the smart choice. I went ahead and grabbed Odell Beckham Jr. He is another good receiver. Him and A.J. Green are going to be so dominant with Aaron Rodgers. Just way too easy of a pick for me. Very dominant wide receiver core. The Ravens were not good enough to win this one. It's it's very surprising. I know, guys, that, that Bengals team is just definitely not way too stacked and way too good. But, yeah, it, it, there's there's just there's way too much on that team for the Ravens to really have a chance. I don't know. This Bengals team might might not lose, if we're being honest. I don't know which team in this league can beat them right now, but we'll see. This is going to land on the Seattle Seahawks again, and the Seahawks are going to go to the west. And I'm sorry, but you can't take the Pacific Ocean. That's not allowed. You're not allowed to take the Pacific Ocean. Let's see where the Carolina Panthers are going to go. Panthers are going to go to the east, and uh, yeah, you can't take the Atlantic Ocean either. I should have said that the first time. But the Cowboys are going to be going north and to the west. That's going to be Oklahoma. They can take Oklahoma, even though it's not going to be a, a game. They're just they just get it for free because no, there's no teams in Oklahoma uh, except for the Thunder, and the Thunder are not an NFL team, sadly. Let me fix up these borders here because it just looks horrible. Oklahoma and Texas are now one solid thing, and the Bengals are landed on once again. The Bengals are going to go west, and that's actually going to hit the Cleveland Browns, so we're going to see the battle for Ohio. All right, this comes to a surprise to no one. The Cleveland Browns were pretty bad for a very long time. 14-36, they just got absolutely dominated. RG3 was the quarterback for the Browns. Uh, I know the Browns got a few good players that I could add to the Bengals, and that is why at the end of the day I went ahead and made the choice to grab the best player that I thought for the Bengals, and that was Joel Batonio. He's only 82 overall, but this Browns team really didn't. This Browns team didn't have much off left to offer for the Bengals, and Joel Batonio was the easy pick for me. All right, that that, that poor Cleveland team—they just—they never had a shot. They're, I'm I'm sorry, Browns fans. You guys never had a shot. You guys back then, you, there's just no chance. There just was. There was no shot back then. I know now the Browns actually beat the Bengals quite often for how good the Bengals are. It's kind of surprising. but Anyways, wheel spit again. Minnesota Vikings. The Vikings are going to go north. Uh, yeah, that's going to be North Dakota, I think. Uh, and if not, it's Canada. And they can't take Canada. There's not There's not Canada on the map. So uh, North Dakota, it looked like it was close enough. I went ahead and gave that to them. The Pittsburgh Steelers, though. The Steelers are going to be going south and to the east. That is going to be the Bengals. Great team, actually, around this time. They were, they were winning the AFC North. They were, they were doing their thing. Uh, but they got absolutely obliterated by this Bengals team because this Bengals team is way too dominant. 30-13. to 13. Aaron Rodgers, he is going on a little streak with the Cincinnati Bengals team. This team is looking very good, and they are only going to get better because they have options of Antonio Brown, Le'Veon Bell, and many other great Steelers players. And... The Bengals, they already got their wide receivers. They got Odell Beckham. They got A.J. Green. They already got their quarterback. So that's why I went ahead and gave them running back Le'Veon Bell. Le'Veon Bell, easy pick here for me. 94 overall running back. This team is just all around the best team in the league right now. They are so dominant. I mean, there's the Patriots, but it, this team is just way too good. I think they're going to win this. This Bengals team is just looking way too dominant. I seriously do not know a team that can beat them right now. Uh, the Steelers are eliminated. Not surprising at all with how good this team is. Let me fix that real quick. And the Bengals have the most territory. It's not even close. So let's spin the wheel here after removing the Steelers. The wheel is going to land on the Detroit Lions. Now, where could the Lions possibly go? Uh, they go west. And that's, that's the Bengals. We knew it was going to happen. Lions versus Bengals. So once again, another victim of this Bengals terror as the Detroit Lions. Uh, they, they stepped towards the wrong... Uh, the wrong feline, I guess I could say. 45-27. I guess they put up 27, so that's somewhat impressive, I guess, against this Bengals team. I guess the Bengals really don't have a defense. I've been giving them offensive players, which is actually why I went ahead and gave them 90 overall ZQ Anza from the Detroit Lions. Anza was a beast back then for Detroit. He's going to be really good here for the Bengals as the Bengals look to upgrade their defense after getting way too many offensive upgrades. So, easy pick. There's just no shot for any of these teams. I, I, I can't believe I'm going to say it, but I think this team already won. I think the Bengals already won the Imperialism Championship, and it just started. All right, make sure to remove the Detroit Lions and spin the wheel again. This is going to land on the Kansas City Chiefs. The Chiefs are going to be going northwest, and that's going to be the Bengals again. Another Bengals matchup. Bengals versus the Chiefs. 
The Chiefs are actually putting up a fight trying to end this Bengals run here. There's a minute left. Four point game. Le'Veon Bell's cutting to the right side. He's going to truck stick somebody. He is going to bury someone in the dirt and just get into the end zone. He wants this. The Cincinnati Bengals are going to win this game. Actually, I can't say that. It's, there's still a minute left. But the Bengals are taking a at least a three-point lead or at least a two-point lead. Uh, and they're going to take a three-point lead. And the Chiefs can't do anything with it. That's the final score. 30-27 final score. The Chiefs, they tried. They had to take on this tough Bengals team. The Chiefs won the Imperialism Championship in Madden 15. They're not going to win this one as they are officially eliminated by this dominating Cincinnati Bengals team and Aaron Rodgers who won it with them uh, in, in Madden 15 but I went ahead and gave the Bengals 97 overall Justin Houston they, this team is so dominant they have a good defense now they have a great offense this team is so good there's literally no way they can lose this game like they can't lose this there's no way the Chiefs are eliminated probably the only team that uh, makes sense to eliminate them because they won the championship last time but now it's going to be hard to win a championship when there's a team with Aaron Rodgers and a whole bunch of other 90, not 90 plus overall like players on that team. Like it's it's so crazy. This video might as well be over now. This team's not going to stop losing. As the Minnesota Vikings are going to be landing on the Vikings, is it your turn? It, it sure is. The Vikings are going to probably lose the Bengals here too because they're just unstoppable, I guess. Facing elimination. Aaron Rodgers and the Cincinnati Bengals are down by three. They have like the whole entire yard to go, but they get a, a solid gain there with Le'Veon Bell. He gets out of bounds. Three interceptions from Aaron Rodgers is what is holding them back, I feel like. He is going to throw a laser. Jeez, that ball went like 150 miles per hour. Fourth and five, though. This is for their whole entire game. This is for everything. Rodgers is going to get the first down with OBJ, but I, they have no timeouts. They're going to run out of time. The Cincinnati Bengals are going to be eliminated. This team is so dominant. How? How do they lose to the Vikings? The Vikings are a, sol a decent team at best. The Vikings and Teddy Bridgewater take out the Bengals with Aaron Rodgers. But Aaron Rodgers, uh, he's, he's a 96 overall quarterback. I've said this like every single time. But I can't say no to that, especially when they have Teddy Bridgewater. Look at the Vikings' new quarterback. Aaron Rodgers, he's going to be the new quarterback for this Minnesota Vikings team. Welcome to Minnesota, Aaron Rodgers. This this is going to be crazy. Completely blue. The Bengals are eliminated. I stand corrected. I said that the, I said the Bengals are going to win. I said there's no way the Vikings lose this, and they did. So probably shouldn't be jinxing teams because I'm going to probably get a lot of people mad at me. And uh, I don't know. Let's crop this. Make sure that's all good. And uh, let's hit the wheel again as there's not a lot of teams remaining, if we're being honest. The Bengals are officially eliminated. We're down to, like, what, 10 teams maybe? Uh, maybe, like, 9. I don't know. But there we go. Land on the Cowboys. They're going to go and grab the state of Arkansas because there's no way that touched any team. And you can't tell me otherwise. So let's spin the wheel again. This is going to land on the Miami Dolphins. Now the Dolphins are going to be going north and a little to the east. That's going to be the state of South Carolina. And uh, there's there's a lot of white states right now. So there's going to be a lot of territory claiming. I'm, I'm assuming there's not going to be much fighting or uh, games going on. Vikings are going to be going southeast. That is going to be the Titans, I think. Aaron Rodgers gets another victory here, 34-32. He is going to take down Marcus Mariota and the Tennessee Titans. I feel like you guys are going to get mad that I keep giving Aaron Rodgers away because it's like I want him to win this Imperialism Championship. I promise you I don't, and that is why when we get to the final six, I, I, I don't really have a say. Delaney Walker, he is going to be added to this Minnesota Vikings team, helping out Aaron Rodgers. He's going to be a really good tight end for him. All right, so Aaron Rodgers, he gets a solid player there at tight end, like I was saying. But more importantly, they get new land, and they get another team that they don't have to worry about. As now the Vikings are looking like the team that's dominant and probably won't lose. But I'm not going to say that anymore because uh, it didn't end so well last time. Finally, we land on the Patriots, by the way, who, uh, who go ahead and grab New Hampshire. Is that what it is? New Hampshire, yep. And... Uh, yeah, the Patriots have been kind of quiet, especially for how good they are. They should be making more moves, but they're not. But, hey, 
let, let the other teams handle it and then come in at the end and win it all, I guess, right? I don't know. But uh, the Vikings are going to be taking on the Carolina Panthers here, so this should be a good, a great game. Aaron Rodgers going, hurry up offense here, down by three, facing elimination again. Rodgers is looking, he's going to the left side, that's caught by McKinnon, who is going to be two yards short. They're going to have to use a timeout, they're going to use a timeout, they could have went hurry up, there's 30 seconds left, Aaron Rodgers needs to score a touchdown here, or at least get a field goal, he's looking, goes towards the end zone, Delaney Walker with the catch, what a play, what a play by the Minnesota Vikings, Aaron Rodgers and Delaney Walker get it done, what an amazing play there, he was able to get that tight window Wow, okay Aaron Rodgers, we see you with Delaney Walker, a solid team, but now Cam Newton has to make his choice here. Does he want to continue to be winning games in this Imperialism Championship? I shouldn't say continue winning when he hasn't played one yet, but he throws a dot, an absolute laser to the right side. I don't know who that was to. Was that Greg Olson, I think? I'm pretty sure it was to Greg Olson, but what a laser there by Cam Newton. He's down by four, and he's got 11 seconds. He has to get into the end zone. He can't settle for a field goal. Cam Newton is looking... Cam Newton here, he goes pretty, so that's a solid throw, he hits Ted Ginn Jr. at the 15, there's only 3 seconds left, and the Vikings are getting flashbacks from when they played the Lions last year, and they lost to a last second touchdown, they cannot let that up, I know you Vikings fans are worried right now, Cam Newton, he's looking, he's gotta go to the end zone, he's gonna go left side, Stewart, Stewart's gonna go in, he's, he's, a oh my gosh, he was a yard short, Stewart was a yard short, the Minnesota Vikings are gonna win, 42 to 38 final score Aaron Rodgers is going to continue to win what a game Cam Newton kept it as close as possible he tried his hardest to win that game but Stewart comes up one yard short and the Minnesota Vikings are going to get a very solid addition uh, I know you guys are probably already thinking of who I who I went with and of course it was Luke Keekley, 99 overall middle linebacker cannot say no to that Hall of Fame middle linebacker he is now a part of this Minnesota Vikings team that will be very dominant. All right, so that was a crazy game. Like I said, I, I said it was going to be a good game. I wasn't wrong. Can't tell me I was wrong because that was insane. Uh, crazy ending. And, uh, yeah, the Vikings are going to continue to build their land, though, because the Panthers come up literally a second short. If they had literally one more play, they probably win that. Maybe. I'll just say maybe to avoid... Uh, conspiracies but let's spin this wheel again it is going to land on oakland they're gonna get territory and basically there was about 50 spins of just nothingness so this is really sped up and uh yeah all right finally though we did land on a team that could fight and it was the san diego chargers the chargers were uh Finally, a team that wanted to go and play a game, and they went northwest to Oakland, and they had to play the Oakland Raiders, and it honestly should make up for a really good game. Both teams are kind of mid, I'm going to say. So the Chargers had a little run, but once again, Phillip Rivers uh, can't really do anything when it comes to trying to make it to a championship. 20-13 to 13 is the final score as the Raiders knock out the Chargers and Tyron Matthew he is going to be headed to Oakland. He is now officially a Oakland Raider. Uh, very solid free safety, easy pick. All right, so Oakland is able to take out the Chargers. Uh, I don't know, not 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 game-changing, I'm going to say. It's, it is what it is. The wheel is going to pick the Saints, though, and the Saints are going to go to the left and they are going to go after that is the Dallas Cowboys. Tony Romo and this Dallas Cowboys team are down by two. He's going to go to the right side to Williams who is going to pick up the first down. There's a minute left. It's not even Tony Romo. Why is Kellen Moore the quarterback right now? Kellen Moore is the quarterback. Tony Romo get hurt. I didn't know they did injuries in play now still. So I know they did it in 15 but I didn't know they did it in 17. They're going to spike it. There's 50 seconds left. They're down by two. If the Saints can pull off this win. That would be huge for them. But Ezekiel Elliott has a very solid six-yard run there. They're going to go hurry up third and four. I don't really know if I like hurry up there, but hey, it is what it is. Down by two. Kellen Moore is looking. He's going to go to the left. That's Ezekiel Elliott who's going to stop. That was a weird, like, I don't know what he's trying to do, like a spin move. But I think this might be rookie Ezekiel Elliott, by the way. But they are going to get the first down, about 25 seconds left. And they kicked the game-winning field goal. I don't know what just happened. The Cowboys kicked the game-winning field goal. 24-23 is the final score. Tony Romo's out there celebrating, even though he didn't do anything. 
he was on the bench, it seems like, because Kellen Moore was the quarterback. I don't know why Tony Romo wasn't the quarterback. I don't know if he got injured. I don't know if they do that. But that is why I went ahead and gave uh, Drew Brees to the Cowboys, because I don't know why Tony Romo wasn't playing, and I don't want that to happen again. So Drew Brees is the new quarterback here for the Dallas Cowboys, 90 overall quarterback. How could I even possibly say no to that? All right, so... Now we have to eliminate the Saints. They literally did nothing the whole entire video, so they probably deserve to not be continuing further. Because I feel like if you're doing, if you do stuff, you deserve to do better. Uh, this is gonna land on the Cowboys. They're gonna get a state. This is gonna land on Seattle. They're gonna get a state, and uh, this one's also gonna land on Seattle. They're not gonna get anything. Then the Cowboys and the Broncos who get a state, and then um, the Cowboys who finally are gonna attack. And they are going to go north into the west, and they are going to take on the Cowboys or Broncos. All right, the Broncos absolutely choked this game, guys. They were up by so much, and I, I'm pretty sure the Cowboys scored like 19 in the last fourth in the fourth quarter to win this game. They were up by so much going into the fourth quarter, and they still lost. The Broncos absolutely choked. Yes, the, they scored 25 unanswered points. The Broncos literally sold. They were up 24 nothing at one point. Von Miller is now a Dallas Cowboy. Him and J.J. Watt are going to absolutely tear up the defensive line. This team is looking very scary. All right, so uh, the Cowboys continue to build as... The, I, I don't know. Do the Cowboys have more surface uh, area than the, the Vikings do? You guys let me know in the comments because I don't know. Both have a lot of room. Both have an uh, extreme amount of land. As this is sped up intensely because there is literally nothing that happened. Just a whole bunch of state grabbing. It, it was bad. It was really, really bad. So, uh, finally, the Dolphins have uh, the idea of attacking. And they do. And they're going to go and take on the Vikings. Alright, so the Miami Dolphins, their little run is going to be coming to an end as the Minnesota Vikings win 28-24 and the Vikings will not be getting any player for winning this game we are down to the final six they don't get any more players no more transitions going on but Aaron Rodgers is still in it he's looking for a two-time imperialism championship uh I don't know can he do it well, we we'll see I don't know he might be able to honestly the cow the the Cowboys are gonna sit there and just watch as the Dolphins and Vikings take each other out Sadly, it's the Dolphins taking, getting taken out. I'm a Lions fan, so I, I'm not rooting for the Vikings. I'm just going to say, I don't want the Vikings to win. I was rooting for the Dolphins there, but it is what it is. It is going to land on the Cowboys, though, as the Cowboys are going to make a move, and the Cowboys are going to go north into the west, and that's going to be the Vikings. This should be a huge, huge game. Aaron Rodgers is facing elimination. He wants to be a two-time imperialism champion on my channel. Can he do it? He's got 15 seconds to score a touchdown and tie this game. Aaron Aaron Rodgers is not even in there. Sean Hill is in. He's going to throw that ball away as he gets hit by J.J. Watt. Why is Aaron Rodgers not in? This happened with Tony Romo. Aaron Rodgers has to be hurt. There's literally no other reason for you not to play Aaron Rodgers here. Sean Hill is the quarterback. Can he save the Vikings' fate? What is going to happen here? He's got eight seconds to score. Sean Hill's looking. He goes to the right side to Walker, who is going to be just short. No. He's going to come up just short. The Dallas Cowboys are going to win this game. Aaron Rodgers and his two-time imperialism championships are not going to happen. He gets eliminated by the Dallas Cowboys. Wow. What an ending. Two yards short is crazy. As the Cowboys win this one by seven. What a game. The entirety of the map has just changed to blue, to Cowboys blue, as we are in the final four. There are four teams remaining, guys. Two of these teams are going to play in the championship, and one of them is going to be the champion. I'm going to do the wheel and spin, uh, the wheel of spinning. Uh, I don't know why I said it like that, but we're going to spin the wheel, and whichever team attacks whichever team is going to be the semifinal of one game, and then the other two are going to play each other. And the team that has more area or more... Um, States and territories is going to be the home team of the other game, so then I won't have to spin a wheel. So this should be the last wheel spin of the entire video, and then it's going to land on the Cowboys. So the Cowboys want to play the first semifinal game. They're going to go out west, and that is actually going to be the Oakland Raiders. I'm going to say 
the Raiders and the Cowboys are going to be the first semifinal game, which means the Seahawks are going to take on the Patriots in the other one. And the Seahawks will be the home team because they have more states. The Cowboys have finally been eliminated. Drew Brees and the Dallas Cowboys get absolutely upset by the Oakland Raiders. I don't know how the Raiders are still in this. They, they were a, not a very good team. Their overall, at least, was not good at all. But somehow, the Oakland Raiders pull off this upset against the Dallas Cowboys as the Cowboys are done. The Oakland Raiders are going to be winning this game. What a game. And there it goes. The Raiders upset the Cowboys. They're going to take over most of the country, if we're being honest. As now, the Patriots are going to take on the Seahawks because... Uh, Seahawks have more states. The Seahawks are going to be the home team. I just want to remind you guys. So this should be a very good game. All right. So we know already that the Raiders are going to be going to the Imperialism Championship, but we have to find which team they're going to be playing. It's 27 to 27 here now. This is a game-winning field goal for the Patriots. Can they make it? The kick is up and it is good. The New England Patriots come to Seattle and they knock off the, the Seattle Seahawks, as the New England Patriots, are going to the Imperialism Championship. They are going to take on the Oakland Raiders. So we have a big underdog coming in with Oakland. Uh, this New England team is really good. So I don't know if Oakland really has a shot, but we'll, we'll definitely get to see that here coming up as the Raiders are taking on the Patriots. The entire state should, would turn gray, but I'm going to change the colors of the Patriots to blue. Just so it's not all gray. As the Patriots are going to take on the Raiders in the championship. The Patriots really haven't done anything. Let me fill in these states. Because why waste my time spinning a wheel just to claim states when I can just give them the states that make sense. Like all these are probably going to be gray. It just makes more sense to do that. As the Patriots own territories halfway across the country from each other. But uh, the Raiders own pretty much the majority of it. For the Imperialism Championship, Raiders versus the Patriots. Let's go. All right, guys. This is the second ever Imperialism Championship on my YouTube channel. This is going to include the New England Patriots with Tom Brady, Rob Gronkowski, cover athlete Rob Gronkowski, by the way. We're here in Houston, Texan. Houston, Texan. We're here in Houston, Texas with the Raiders and Derek Carr. They also picked up Aaron Donald along the way. They were able to get Joe Staley, just a few people off the top of my head. Tyron Matthew also. Uh, let's get this game going. We got the Simcast. The Patriots are up 14-0 very early. That's not looking good. 21-0. Wow. Okay, Oakland comes back and finally scores, but the Patriots follow up with a field goal, and we are past halftime now. 31-7. Wow. 31 to 15. Okay, I'm going to start slowing this down a little bit. The, oh, maybe a little comeback. It's only an eight point game here for the Raiders. The Raiders need to get a defensive stop, though. They're not going to. It's an 11 point game now. So Oakland needs a field goal and a touchdown with a two point conversion. Let's hop into this and see what the Raiders can do here. There's about 20 seconds left. I don't know why they're not hurrying up. They're just taking their time in the huddle. They need to hurry this up. I don't know what they're doing. But we we are now in a play here. Eight seconds left. I don't know why they took their time with that huddle up. Derek Carr's going to the left. He's going to be stopped. Murray is stopped. And that is it. The New England Patriots are going to win your Imperialism Championship. The second ever Imperialism Championship goes to the New England Patriots. They only had to play two games to get there. What a joke. That's horrible. So the Oakland Raiders knocked off so many teams just for them to lose the championship to the New England Patriots, who literally did nothing along the way. Wow. What? Hey, I what an episode. I, I There's nothing left to say. It was filled with, there's two times where the games ended with one yard away from tying it or winning it. And this uh, these games have just been so crazy to me. Let me know what you guys think of these games. They've just been so bizarre. But the New England Patriots with Tom Brady, Dante Hightower was also on the team. Rob Gronkowski, uh, I, don't, was, I don't know if Amendola was. I know Edelman was at the time. But the New England Patriots are once again your champions of the world as they win the Imperialism Championship here on Madden 17. You guys need to let me know, should I continue this series by going to 18 next? Or I, I could try 16 again. I don't know what was going on. The disc wasn't working. But I could try to clean it, like deep clean the disc, and uh, see if that'll work. But 
Here it is. Tom Brady is your Super Bowl or Imperialism Bowl uh, MVP as the New England Patriots and knock off the Raiders for it all. Here it is now officially. The New England Patriots win the Imperialism Bowl. They are the owners of the entire country now as they took over starting in just little Massachusetts. But Tom Brady never fails, it seems like. Tom Brady is able to get it done when he has to. He is the champion of this imperialism. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Peace out and goodbye.